a video made for for video made for beginners in electronics then October 2024. Well, at first I have, of course, to see uh, whether you can see it. So anyway, uh, look at my camera, etc., etc. Move it a little bit. Anyway, uh, I only want to focus now on the most simple electronic circuits that everyone can make. Uh, regarding say uh, audio or high frequency amplification uh, in general we have here a positive line here a positive line of 12 volts well that's an idea of course there are other voltages say uh, 6 volts uh, 4 volts, 3 volts, and they have, of course, always a very uh, important impact on how uh, an electronic circuit works. But anyway, um, this is here, this is the minus now, and this is the ground. Uh, the ground is, say, um, a certain ID could be in old circuits, say in the 1960s, the ground was mounted in many cases because they used PMP transistors, the ground was connected to the positive. But now uh, I want to focus more or less on, say, the NPN transistor. And with the NPN transistor, we know that we have a base, a collector, and the emitter. Yes, it's there. Uh, the collector is connect connected to the positive lead, emitter to the negative lead, and the base is connected between the positive and the negative lead and say the exact voltage here when it is connected to the, to the uh, positive and negative lead plays a very very important role so let me first give the most simple audio amp that you can make with a NPN transistor so and here are the values. This is one kilo ohm, thousand ohms. It's in. Uh, I now read here 12 volt, but for this circuit, the ideal voltage is approximately nine volts. But anyway, it also works on uh, 12 volt. Um, so this is that transistor. This is the emitter, this is the base, this is the collector. And here we have, say, the transistor that does its job. Emitter, base, collector, BC547B. And its amplification factor is uh, approximately 300. And of course, with, there are many other types of NPN silicon transistors that do the same job. Say it's more or less universal. But this is, say, the most uh, basic circuit that you can use. And because there is no difference, there is, uh, say, a big difference 
between the collector resistor and the emitter resistor. Here is 1000 ohm and here it's zero. And it means that in this circuit, by the way, this is very, very important. You need here a 220K uh, resistor because there is no difference. Uh, a big difference between the collector resistor and the emitter resistor. This transistor in this configuration works to its maximum amplification and that's very important um, when the transistor by itself you could of course use an other NPN uh, transistor has a higher uh, current amplification than uh, 300 it will also amplify to that higher amplification factor so this is say one of the first circuits that you can use um, it's made for AC and in general we have an input capacitor that sep separation capacitor that prevents the DC out of the power supply lead can enter the the, uh, the base of the transistor so when you have here for instance a resistor um, you go to not completely AC amplification but also for DC amplification and the same happens when we have here for instance a resistor and when we have here for instance a resistor but anyway um, I think it's not the aim of this video it's a completely other situation this acts as an AC amplifier for sure not for short wave but for audio also for short wave by the way and the uh, capacitor here is the input cap and here's the output cap um, for audio this can be for instance 0 0.47 microfarad and here 0 0.47 74 microfarad as an output capacitor so here is say the most basic one transistor circuit that you can make uh, and when you send here uh, say in into a voltage of uh, 10 millivolts AC say audio it will be amplified by 300 so 300 multiplied by 10 in millivolt is 3000 millivolt and that is 1 volt uh, sorry is 3 volts here 3 volts AC Well, uh, you can use here, for instance, a uh, low frequency transistor, see the BC547B, or a high frequency transistor. You can change the capacitor values here, here, and here. Now it is 0 0.47 microfarad, but uh, that relies to audio circuits. For high frequency circuits, uh, this is could be for instance 100 picofarad and also here 100 picofarad and in that case you have a high frequency amplifier by the way uh, in its most basic and simple way I'm now on nine minutes on my camera but anyway um, so in this whole setup I wanted to tell talk something about how to make the most 
simple amplifier audio amplifier or high frequency amplifier that you can use a uh, 9 volt is in this case the best value anyway uh, there are other videos on my youtube channel where i have say explained the more or less classical other grounded emitter amplifier let me draw it again uh, I know I found that many people cannot find my circuits even when I tell uh, go to the go to the the, the 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 search function on my youtube channel anyway i'm now on 11 minutes but anyway um, this is also say a classical here grounded grounded emitter circuit and there's a lot to tell about that uh, use here for instance one kilo ohm use a here a capacitor of uh, between say uh, 10 microfarad and 100 nanofarad with this uh, potentiometer here you set the amplification factor this resistor must be um, 10k and this must be 27k and here it is 3k3 um, and the relation between the collector resistor and the emitter resistor tells you something about the amplification factor but also that cap here is responsible for the frequency range where such a simple circuit can work and here we have exactly the same situation compared to this the most bare 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 circuit uh, this is bare this, this is more or less the better stabilized circuit but anyway when we are talking about the input cap and the output cap that is frequency dependent so for z with 0 0.47 microfarad here and 0 0.7 microfarad here you have a very very good one transistor audio amplifier that can amplify all kinds of signals say a microphone uh, other uh, uh, sources um so here 0 0.47 microfarad and here 0 0.47 microfarad in and here out and here you can set the amplification and this capacitor here is is responsible for the frequency range so with 10 microfarad you are in the audio range And with 100 nanofarad you are also in the audio range but uh, with 50 nanofarad you are in the say 100 kilohertz range amplification range anyway thanks for watching uh, my camera will surely stop within a few minutes This was more or less all to tell. So we have here, say, the most basic first one transistor amplifier with no uh, amp, uh, with a not specific uh, tunable audio amplifier. And here the amplification can be tuned with the help of that 1K resistor. So in this 
circuit it all depends on the amplification factor of the transistor and because there is no uh, uh, sorry there's no um, the relation between the collector resistance and the emitter resistance I've thought I've talked about it earlier but here you can set the amplification factor again thanks for watching I leave it as it is.